It's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. As if the world needed more alcohol, Hasbro has launched its first ever Monopoly drinking game. Interesting. Playing Monopoly alone, just in general, is enough to drive you to drink, depending on how long right. the game goes. Uh, it's designed for adults 21 and older, uh, of course. Players can choose any beverage they like while landing on themed spaces like the rooftop bar and dance floor. The game is available for $20 on Amazon. That's not too bad. Uh, interesting. Somebody actually DM me. This is a callback from uh, Friday, but somebody uh, DM me and said that we should have called the topic about the boba yeah. um, a drinking game, and every and you had to drink every, every time, time you said balls. balls. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had boba over the weekend, by the way. You a did? Honeydew boba? Delicious. Yeah. I'm Love telling it. you, I don't know. I don't, I've been missing out. Six fifty, I think, for the drink. And I, I'm pretty sure like a dollar and change went to the cup. It was a nice cup. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. It's yeah. very expensive. Uh, whatever the case, that's great. And uh, yeah, if you land on Baltic Avenue, I think you should drink the cheapest liquor in your cabinet. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, there, there is a correct way to eat ice cream, says Dr. Sarah Kemp. She is an expert when, in the matter. She says store-bought ice cream should be slightly defrosted before being eaten. And you get a swirl in your mouth for around 12 seconds to enhance the creamy texture. Lord. Don't just like swallow it whole. Okay. I don't have time for that. No, same. What do, you, what do you think this is? I I take out the uh, the ice cream right away, mm-hmm. and I don't care how hard that ice cream is. I'm just gonna claw at it. Yep, for <laughs> Little sure. Little slices yep. of chip off. Exactly. I'm eating it. Yep. I don't care. I'm not waiting. Uh, Marriott hotel employee recently tried to blackmail a guest. The guest posted, "I was staying at one Marriott property with a young blonde female colleague. We were friendly in nature. We had worked." In half a dozen countries together. Wow. I mean, your 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 sus uh, meter is probably oh, uh, through the roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Patrick's like, hey, I'm going to go Not out happening. with Jocelyn. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> we're, we're going to Cleveland. <laughs> uh, one hotel employee looked me up on Facebook, saw I was married to a brunette, threatened to tell my wife I was having an affair unless I gave him one thousand dollars. Luckily, my friend, my wife is friends with my colleague. Still doesn't really say no. Nope. <laughs> nope. Still don't care. <laughs> also, what a scumbag employee, though. Yeah. To just look up random people on Facebook. Yeah. Is a scumbag. That's interesting. Whether it's on the up and up or, or whatever. Also, for work and making you take the same room. No, there's. I don't like that. <laughs> I. I the same room, right? I'm guessing that's why they looked it up. I don't know. There's definitely way too much going on there. Oh, no, we're friends. Right. Sure. So, I don't know. Now the more I look sure. into it. Sure you are. <laughs> it's the perfect alibi. You can't have friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we go to Oklahoma where a man recently stole a pickup truck to get to his court appearance. So Cody Adams <laughs> tried to get a ride to the courthouse. But when he couldn't, he resorted to taking the unoccupied truck. He told cops he borrowed the vehicle. He's now facing larceny charges. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's you... like the guy, the driving guy. Remember the license revoked and he was oh, driving man. to court? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's one of those. It's like. You know, if he did get it back and he parked it in the same spot, and if he, like, put gas in it, yeah, no harm, no foul. <laughs> right. You know. Uh, Londoner Beth McIntosh almost died after eating McDonald's cheeseburger. She went into an anaphylactic shock. Could have been caused by the burger's mustard, which allegedly had peanuts in it. McDonald's what? says that their mustard is safe. I mean, you know, people. some people are very sensitive. Um, but they're, they said, no, the mustard's safe, and uh, our, our food will just kill you slowly, the way it was intended. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a six-year-old in Rhode Island uh, recently launched a pooper scooper business to fund his dream of adopting a cat. This is interesting. Picking up the dog poop uh-huh. to get a cat. He says he enjoys keeping things clean, doesn't mind picking up dog waste. Uh, how much would you pay to have someone pick up the dog crap in your backyard? We pay um, Jaden like 20 bucks a week. This is exactly, he charges $15 for one dog and 20 for two. There you go. $6 though. And technically, I think that's like a, a it's child labor laws, right? I think so. It could, could be, be. Some, could somewhat be. of an issue there. I do, um, I do like his entrepreneurial spirit though. <laughs> Finally, Jonathan Earl Reed. You know, when the middle name's Earl, you yep. know crime is about to be committed. Uh, except James Earl Jones. Yes. A legend, RIP. Uh, allegedly arrested after he drove a monster truck into several cars at the Rednecks with Paychecks Auto Show <laughs> in St. Joe, Texas, charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Yeah, one of those things that you just don't want to see um, a monster Something truck coming at you. not inside an arena. Uh-uh. Uh, and once it's out of the arena, I'm scared. Yep, for sure. In arena, awesome. Yes. <laughs> out of arena, bad. Unless, of course, it's the car I didn't want anymore. You do an insurance job on it.